Hey, welcome back everybody. Um, today we're going to talk uh, again about the Hornady overall length uh, tool that we use when finding that magic number on where the bullets are going to seat uh, up against the lands. And of course you can buy the cool little Hornady uh, case gauges here and stuff, but um, they're not a hundred percent accurate. Let's take some measurements, take a look at this and see what the difference is and why it might be important to actually make your own out of a case that you fired. Okay, so what's the big deal with all this stuff? Well, let's take a good look. Here we have the factory case gauge here from Hornady. These two here are just factory unfired cases. This one's a Starline. This one's a Hornady. This is the one that I made. So if we take our comparator tool here and check the Hornady gauge or the Hornady case here, we're at uh, 1.530. Check the unfired Starline. We're at 1.532. The Hornady 1.529 and my case with the shoulder bumped two thousandths back we are at 1.535 so what we're trying to do is make sure that we get the best measurements possible based on the chamber that we're shooting these cartridges out of and it makes a big difference Take a look here real quick. This was shot with my Ackley. This is 30 thousandths off the lance. It's a horrible group. This one over here is 20 thousandths off the lance and it's not bad. This one down here is 5 thousandths off the lance and this one over here is 10 thousandths off the lance. So you can see 5 thousandths difference is really a big deal when you're shooting for accuracy. You see the difference is, is where the shoulder of the case contacts the shoulder in the chamber. The longer that shoulder is on the case, the quicker it's going to contact the shoulder in the chamber, and that's going to give you a different reading where the bullet meets the lands. So all we did was we took this Redding body die for the Creedmoor, and the Lee collet die just to give it a just to tighten up the neck a tiny bit uh, so it wasn't horribly sloppy. So this will slide in and out real nice now. With a little bit of tension but not too much. So what we did is we I used the the factory uh, overall length case here for the Creedmoor and I get a number of 2.295 made my own case with bumping this back by two thousandths the shoulder back by two thousandths and I come up with 2.299 with my fire formed case. This is the case that gives me the best accuracy when I'm working up some load development for the Creedmoor and but that's a difference of four thousandths. So let's take a look at what that looks like out of the Creedmoor. So here's some shots I took today. This group here was just fouling the barrel after cleaning it. There's 40 grains with the correct case measurement, uh, 40.5, uh, 41, and then back over here to, uh, to 40. So 40 is clearly where the shot groups are just really loving it. It's a little bit on the slow side. It's running just over 2,600 feet a second for a 142 grain bullet, but I'm willing to compromise a little bit of speed for that kind of accuracy all day long. But how do you make one of these? It's actually pretty simple. You go out and you fire form your case and you take a 930 seconds drill bit and the tap, which I'm going to leave a link below, uh, you can get these from Amazon for under 10 bucks. They're, they're cheap. Um, they are a uh, 5 16 by 36 tap. So if you were really careful, you could probably do make, make one of these cases here with a with a drill bit 
in a vise and just really making sure that things are straight. If you have a lathe or a mini lathe or something, that would be a lot better. But um, Or if you really want to, uh, you can just send me a case and I'll make you one um, as long as I have the body die for the caliber that you're shooting. So, but pretty easy to make. Let's take a look here real quick. So it's not that hard to make, um, it just takes a few minutes on a lathe. I would prefer a lathe just because things are absolutely dead centered and you're not getting anything off. Not that it would matter a whole bunch if you're off just a little bit on the threading because that doesn't really matter. What you're looking for is the correct size case for your chamber and getting that bullet pushed up into the lands so you can get that, that nice accurate measurement. So, um, But uh, coming up here too is the complete load development that we're working on for the Creedmoor. Um, uh, we, we've got some footage shot, but I got a lot more to do. We're, we're going to play around probably a little bit with some seating depths and stuff. However, I don't know that I really need to do that too much uh, just because the groups are, are shooting are just phenomenal. Uh, very, very happy with it. But we're going to try to get the speeds up just a little bit and maintain that group. Um, but that's probably going to come in the form of a little bit more powder and playing around with the seating depths. Uh, I would like to be somewhere around 2,700 feet per second. But, you know, to be honest, I'm okay not shooting that because that the ballistically, that's still going to reach out quite a ways. Um, and it's super accurate, so it's not the end of the world either way. I know a lot of people that really, really like to shoot uh, super fast. You know, they want to push them right to the limit. And, uh, you know, if it means i got to dial up an extra, you know, three or four clicks or, or even a mil at, at a real long range, I'm okay with that as long as, as, long as I can stay in that, in that uh, supersonic zone, uh, you know, getting out there at, at those real long distances. So, either way, uh, we had a great time at the range today. And... Uh, Low development's coming along. We'll get a video posted probably here uh, next weekend on that. And uh, also the DVDs are, they're that close to being ready. I got to make a couple more edits in it. I got a couple, uh, some feedback from, from some local folks that watched it. And I really appreciate that, by the way. Um, they made some really good points. So I got to do that. And hopefully they'll be up for sale uh, next week. And, and those of you who are already getting uh, a set, you... Uh, check your mail. They'll be coming here real soon. So anyways, uh, there's the sort of a little tip for the day and uh, we'll see you soon.